Hi, I'm back. Back from vacation where we went to uh, Shackamack State Park uh, down in southern Indiana and it was a nice trip. Uh, the fishing, Shackamack is, is known for the fishing there. Um, the place is actually known for its fishing and the fishing this year was horrible. So um, I'm not sure why, <laughs> but uh, it was still a nice time. I was glad to get back, um, but as soon as I got back, all I did was have one accident after another. It was beautiful outside, so I went to open up the house. I pulled on the blinds in the bathroom, and it came crashing down on my head, gashed my head open. And then, uh, you know, I have a 240-pound Mastiff who was hopping around the house because he was so excited to see me, which can be dangerous having a dog that size hopping around in a small house. So I took him outside, kicked the soccer ball around, went to kick the ball, and he put his head down at the same time, and I crashed into his big thick skull with my shin and then uh, was playing with him some more even though I was in pain and uh, hit his tooth with the back of my hand and this whole I don't even know if you can see it or not but this whole area is bruised the whole back of my hand is bruised so it was just one you know accident after another I found it funny when I got back uh, into the adult nerd fighters room there was a post and it was basically about how not to be offended or how not to be offended by certain Facebook posts. If you don't like it, you can hide it, and therefore you're no longer offended. And then this very weird discussion just commenced, and I found it quite absurd and interesting and riveting all at the same time. Um, I know that I'm different. You know, jokes don't offend me. There are things in this world that offend me, but very few, because I feel like it's my, I'm responsible for my own feelings. So I, I started waiting tables in a truck stop at the age of 16. So you know, the best way to defend myself from blonde jokes, and remember blonde jokes are all about how stupid blondes are, uh, was to be armed with a better or dirtier joke. I was raised by a redneck truck driver, so there is not a whole hell of a lot that offends me. And I've made it no secret that I write erotica, which is basically book porn. So I'm not easily offended. And I don't mean to be dismissive to those that get offended by things, but I, I honestly find it absurd when people get their panties in a twist over something. And um, Kath was involved in the discussion, and it actually became, uh, it wasn't heated, it actually became kind of comical, but it was an interesting learning experience, to say the least, interacting with other humans in that way and finding out, you know, why people feel the need to report something or complain or argue rather than just hiding the post and moving on. Patty, I'm very sorry to hear about your accident. Um, I'm still looking for your doppelganger. And speaking of doppelgangers, I seem to have one. At least all of my friends think so. And it's this lady from Rehab Adder. Her name's Nicole Curtis. I don't see it. I think my friends are just kind of putting that together in their minds because I'm always doing home improvement, but I don't know. I guess it kind of goes along with Hank's video that he just made recently about um, what boys like about girls, but it was really more about what people like about each other. And I find that interesting because of our dynamic here and the adult nerd fighter vlogging that we have, you know, I like all of you. What is it about you that attracts me to you? And I really don't know. It's your shining personalities, I guess. I love the dynamic, the human dynamic and in interacting with you this way. Devin you cracked me up because yeah, um, 2000 years from now, it's going to look like we're all talking in these little black boxes and pointing and talking about doobly doos and throwing up weird gang signs and just being odd and unique and they're just gonna think we sit around and do nothing but talk to ourselves I suppose anyway it's been fun um, getting caught up on all of your videos and and Kath we'll see you tomorrow DFTBA